Hello and welcome to another video. So this is a little bit of a stealth car camp. So if you want to see where I've actually come from and why I'm here, let's rewind the video now. Go. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to another video. So today is going to be the day where I actually lose my beard. Um, it's been three years since I've been growing it. I've had it really big and really small. I trimmed it recently. But tomorrow morning I have an interview um, you know, and a medical to rejoin the British Army. Um, I used to be infantry, as you probably already know if you've been following me for a while, but I'm now going to be going into the Army Air Corps and um, I'm, working, well, I'm working on Apaches. So um, that is my new sort of line. I'm still going to be doing YouTube videos, so don't worry, there's still be loads of stuff coming out. But for the interview, I need to be clean shaved again because I need to go back into the armed forces. So, so what I've gone and done, I've had loads of vouchers sent to me over the last few weeks or a few months um, to a company called Harry's. This is not sponsored, this is just something else I just thought I'd do because I've got to get this off anyway, so I might as well just feature something um, doing it. So, a company called Harry's, I got a starter set and say it's all sitting in here never been used um it come it came with what did it come with let's open it up so for the first time so this is all i had to do is pay for packaging i can't remember how much it was it's been a while since it's sit there so it come with a harry's razor blade nice orange my old colors for the company sort of orange it come with one razor blade and it also came with Some shaving gel, oh, a, a cover to protect it. I have to protect, it, to protect it when I'm not using it. And it came with some after balm. Yeah, so I got that one. I thought, well, I'll keep the subscription going for another couple of weeks, another couple of months. So we got the next one, which came with another bigger tub of shaving gel, and it also came with two packs of these sort of blades. So eight blades in total. And I think I've got a third one come around. Yeah, which is exactly the same, yeah. So same thing again, so I come around. Nice little boxes. So I thought, well, let's just give them a go. Because if I've got to take this off, let's see if they're good as they say they are. Clean shave. So I'm going to hack this stuff off now and then go in there and shave it. But also, I'm going to do to you as well, um, I'm also going to do a bit of a stealth camp. Um, sort of in the car, sort of stealth car camp. Because I'm meant to be down there at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's a four-hour drive from my house. And they meant to give me a train warrant, but they forgot to give it to me. So I'm going to drive down tonight. I'm going to find somewhere stealthy to sleep. To Here it goes. Get a big gel. Guess the colour. I think it's gonna be green. Oh, no, do we? Ah, I'm clear. Oh, got that smell to it. Look at that. There we go. Oh, for three years not shaving, this is from a really easy to have the place. Oh, that's a bit of a Gillette guy myself. Mm. 
Okay, so it's two in the morning. I've been driving around for nearly an hour um, around around this area, and it's just like one of the most well-off areas of Britain. I swear it is because every back road is full of as I'm got an estate. So in the end, I've actually come to a little village, and I found a open playground. There's a play field just in front of me. There's a playground there. There's a school over there. There's two hotels just on the side of the road with a couple of cars parked in it. Um, there's one more car parked just to the side of me, so um, I've just beds up in here. I've got blacked out windows, I've got my blinds up around here, I've got a screen up behind me over there, and I was going to be putting a hammock across here to here, because the car's big enough, but where how dark it is, I just can't get it to sort out, so I'm just going to flatten the seats around the other way, and then just bed down for the evening, I think. Bit of stealthy. I'm gonna wake up probably about six in the morning, like four hours kip, um, just so if anyone does come around, I can see it. I can just sit inside the passenger seat and just oh, sort of passenger seat just doze around there. Then just in case it looks like I'm having a little bit of rest instead of actually sleeping inside the car. Okay, so so as we see, it's now like half two in the morning, and the alarm's set for six, so I can get up just before. Over there, give me enough. I'm at a little cricket ground. Just give me enough time just to cook some breakfast up and have a quick shave. But if I do that when I'm up, then it looks like I'm inside the playground. It doesn't look like I've kept it, slept here as well, does it? So we'll soon see if I get a knock on the door in a few minutes. But the car is so blacked out that you wouldn't even know I'm here. Plus, there's another car in this car park as well. So hopefully, we should get aware of it. All right, let's see you in the morning. Right. Morning everyone. Uh, morning, mate. I don't even know what the time is now. Mm -hmm. Right, it's quarter past six, the alarm did go off and I've been on snooze. But since I've actually been on snooze, another car has turned up. Just the other side. The engine's still on, so they're still inside it. But I feel like I've blacked out windows and and the blinds up, you couldn't even see inside here anyway. So it's just like this car's just been parked here all night. Uh, I'm gonna start getting up and start getting ready. Uh, then I'm gonna have a bit of breakfast. So, breakfast. As I said, I've got my army rations with me. So, Yeah, so I've got a boy in the bag, we've got pork sausages and beans and tomato sauce. We've got some mess tins, set of, set of mess tins here. And we've also got a gas bottle. And this Coleman gas cooker, I've had this since I did the DV and when I was 14 years old, and I'm 40 this year, so this thing has been kicking around for quite some time. It's got a few little scorch marks on it, but it's a good bit of kit. It does fold down a little bag, but a little camping gas, not Coleman. Um, it's been going around for quite some time, so I do like it. It's just quite big and clumsy, so it's for car camping, that sort of stuff. This is perfect, but uh, if I'm going away, then again, it's how much gas you want to bring. You don't need to bring a massive bit of gas. We've got that. Um, do you know what? I, I made a coffee last night. 
before I, well, before I set on the journey off. I tried drinking some on the way down here. I burnt myself as that hot. So let's see what's like now. It's no drinkable temperature. So I made this uh, about nine o'clock. It's now six o'clock. So happy, yeah. You know? That brand there. If you want something really cool, a drinking flask and that. H A P I. What's it? A long out, a long time. And it's still up. It's lovely. Now that is awesome bit of kit. So let's get this gas stove rigged up. Uh. Whoa, I just see a dog walker. I'll show you around what I can see at the moment. Oh, these dog walkers just gone over there. We've got the field, massive sort of field. Some sort of school is over there. There's a hotel there. And there's another hotel up there as well. This is the gate I came into. And there's a playground which is just there. And so we'll get out and have a proper walk around in a bit. I was going to put a hammock up, as I said, I was going to string it through the loop to back the chair onto a clip-on point and then over the back of this into another clip-on point and just drape it over the, the top over here, but it doesn't actually look too much space now. I don't think it would have worked. It would have been a cool idea, but I don't think the car's actually big enough. So we'll think of that, we'll think of something else next time. But it wasn't the most comfortable sleep. There was a gap between the chairs and um maybe if I had a better roll mat, a firm rest it might have been a little bit of a better comfortable sleep. Other than that. Finish packing all this stuff up. I did forget to pack the light there, in here, which I have noticed. But I do believe I have my possible pouch in the boot, so I'll go grab that now. Yep, found a possible pouch. Didn't save myself a pack of cars last night. Fire making, here we go. And lighter. No, I'm gonna put I'm gonna just do it out here I think. 
away from the other side of that because it can't be the other side of the engine still running. So I'm just going to do it this side. And we get this thing on the go. Missed in, there's a little bit of a lid. Practicing up. Here we go, you can see a bit better now. Since there we went, that's where we were. Right, we'll just leave this to cook. Right, we'll just leave this to cook. Let's put all the stuff back in a possible pouch. And hopefully, we'll pass this medical in a couple of hours. I'm about 20 minutes away. So Give me enough time to tidy this all up. Eat this. And then get myself back. See, all I was laying on was this house. That was. No, I just landed it. I lifted it back up again. I was laying across here. I can't get a full lace stretch, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, these ration packs are actually left of brownie water. Yeah, the silver ones used to never have to do anything, but these brown ones are actually left brown residues, so I don't actually think I want to drink that water actually. So Maybe it's just washing water, not drinking water when you boil boil in a bag with these ones. Pork sausages, tomato, bean sauce. February twenty-two. Oh, still good. We're still good. Quick look, you see what it is. There we are, piping hot, and I've still got my coffee as well. No, it fills that. Right, this is where I get it everywhere now. Beans are okay. Hot. Right, let's try the sausage. Yeah, I still remember how they taste like. Rubbish. <laughs> right. Breakfast in the day, isn't it? Most important meal of the day, they say. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of bean juice in there. So if I was in the woods, I'd have to bury that if I was in the army. But luckily for me, on my children's playground, there's a bin just over there. So I'm going to clean this up, clean the hot water still got outside, clean my fork up, and then throw that in the bin. So I'll have to stink the car out. I've been doing everything on this side of the car, trying to keep stealthily safe they are in the car. Still can't see them on this side, so. Cut the tea in my teeth.
Okay, so that is me out of here. I think I've stolen my shoe. I don't know where that's from. But I hope you like this. Let's just remember to check out my other videos. Uh, different sort of camping things. This, this is stuff different. Um, just because I needed to come down south for a four hour journey to do a medical. And I thought, well, let's just do a little bit of a stealthy car camp. Something different um, along the way. But as I said, I'll get some land coming out fairly shortly. And I'll bring some, start bringing some more content back. And, um, and some different variations as well. Uh, as restrictions are lifting down in the UK now, I'm going to start going out and actually doing what I wanted to do is going to different parts of the UK in, in the survival. So I'm going to go to Derbyshire and do stuff over there, and then look at the lakes or down Dartmoor, the New Forest, and just to give you different places around North around um UK to look at as well. Um, I've also been chatting to some other YouTubers and and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'm a little honourable mention, um, if you haven't checked out Zachary Fowler, uh, Fowler's Maker of Mysteries, I've done some videos with him in the past and he's helped me out and that sort of stuff, he's so close to his million subscribers, I'll put the link down below, so if you want to check him out, if you haven't already subscribed to him, um, go over there, um, share and that sort of stuff, just try, just try to get into a million, he's done so much, uh, if you have not sure who he is, he's a, um, the winner of Alone, season 3, done 87 days alone, he probably could have done a lot more, um, done so much carving sort of stuff and what he built out there was awesome compared to what I've ever seen any other episode coming over uh, that's it I've waffled again I'm now going to head off and I'll catch you again next time just remember it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight the struggle in the next video bye for now oh let's give it a second